Okay, so what you're seeing on screen right now is a time lapse, particularly a time lapse of me actually putting this YouTube play button that YouTube themselves sent me together. Now, the time lapse is actually 44 seconds in total, but the actual video is over an hour long. Actually, if we go over right now to DaVinci Resolve, we can see the timeline. The first clip is the 44 second one, the time lapse, and then the second clip is the full the full clip, okay, from beginning to end. So it actually, I'll be honest, I'm a little embarrassed to say this, but it took me about an hour and a half to put this together. It, didn't, it doesn't seem like that long, but that's thanks to time lapse. Actually, making a time lapse in DaVinci Resolve is super easy, honestly. This should work generally the same in most video editing programs, but nah, we are in DaVinci Resolve, so here we are. You simply just right click and hit change clip speed. Make sure ripple timeline is turned on. It shouldn't much matter in this case, but I wanted to actually, I just like keeping this on out to have it. And then you change the speed, okay? Basically, the faster speed you make it, the shorter it's going to make the duration. That's simply because of the fact that, you know, it's supposed to be a time lapse, and time lapses are actually supposed to be real fast. Usually a rule of thumb is that you want the speed to be around a thousand-esque or so, no less than a thousand. We only want it to be like 40 seconds, like the original. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and keep on going a little bit here. The duration that tells us how long in minutes is actually very helpful. It lets us continue to do this. We almost got it where we want to. And then we lower it down to 44. Let's just keep it there. And then we hit change. We see it did in fact change. And there we go. Now we actually do it and we do see a time lapse type thing that we get done. You know, it just shows it going pretty quickly. They actually would show it a lot smoother if you render it out, okay? That's the key. You can either right click, hit render in place or whatnot. Now, time lapses aren't usually as crazy as that. As you saw, I did an extreme thing. So let's go back and do a normal time lapse speed, okay? Like we could change the clip speed. And like I said, most people just do a thousand. So we can do a thousand. And then as you can see, it's still, it's still high up there, but you know, it isn't as, it isn't as rough on your computer. But like I said, once you, actually render it out. It should be a lot smoother for you. That's personally what I recommend after you do a time lapse. 
you render it out okay you can just simply right click on the venti resolve and hit render in place it will have your selected folder and a few options and then there you go so yeah hopefully this has helped you like i said a typical a typical whole time lapse is maybe a thousand no less than a thousand speed but this time lapse i had to get down to 44 seconds so you know i actually had to move it up quite a bit as you guys know in order to get what i needed there but that doesn't mean you have to do the same just play around with it until you find the perfect time lapse thing for you like i said depending on your computer it may have trouble with the initial time lapse but once you render it out it should be perfectly fine i would render it out before you even complete the video that's a little pro tip right there but yeah, hopefully this has helped you guys in some way, shape, or form. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later. Mm -hmm.